Like, y'all could have lifted the boot and said, James and Louis seem to figure it out. Yeah, I think you like to say, wouldn't I? I think that's natural and normal. Um, you know, scoring at the, at the death penalty game gives you a massive lift as a group of players. Um, and of course, the three points were vital for us as well. So I think a mixture of the game itself and the importance of the points, um, yeah, it's given a real lift to the players. Um, and it's certainly to, to take forward, obviously, going to Fleetwood and, and for the remainder of the season. It's still difficult, but four points looks a lot more doable. Yeah, it's going to be difficult regardless, you know. It's, of course, it's possible. I think the boys are aware that it's one win and, you know, <laughs> far from complete, if anything, at the minute, all it's done is given us a lifeline. Um, I'm going to try and take the opportunity. There's a long way to go and we've got a lot of hard work to, to put in over the remainder of the season. We're well aware of that, but um, it has given us a lift this week. And like I said, hopefully we can, we can build on that. Obviously facing another side in, in around the top six, so. How do you kind of assess the, the gap between top and bottom? Because you've, you've had some decent results against some of the sides at the top. We have, and I think that might be one of the main frustrations for us this season is there's not a massive gulf between the top sides and the bottom sides. You know, we've very rarely felt this year that we've come across special teams. I think Sheffield United are a good side and see Fleetwood are a good side and Scunthorpe and Bolton as well, but we've matched them all at periods this season. You know, at Sheffield United, we matched them at home for large parts. So we nearly got a result at Bradford and we won at Bolton, so they're tough games and the boys know what's expected and what's required, um, but it's not an impossible task, you know, I think anyone can beat anyone in this division. Are there any sort of things in particular you're, you're expecting from Fleetwood? They're very organised, the manager's done a good job there and they all know their, their role within the team, we've looked at the play, we've looked at their, their videos and they're well structured and they have, they have a goal for it as well, you know, going forward they've got some players that can her team so we've got a game plan and we've looked at looked at what we think their strengths and weaknesses are and hopefully uh, we can you know, pull off a result. I guess you look at the, the defensive record and they must be quite hard to unlock. Yeah and they, they play a back five and like I said they, they're all very well organised. Um, they've got some very strong defenders and they don't take risks you know unnecessarily so yeah of course it's going to be something really easy to go and get loads of goals up there but like I said we, we've got a plan and I think you know, it took us 95 minutes at the weekend. If it does that again, you know, Saturday it won't be a problem. But um, hopefully, we can we can cause them a few issues going forwards. What are your reflections on on your season so far? Um, it's, it's it's been a bit frustrating through periods, but um, I was chatting to someone the other day about it and just trying to reflect. And I think if you look at where I was last season, you know, it's been a been a progressive year and a positive year overall. And um, I'd like to have scored a lot more goals and. There's been periods of the season where I've not been in the side, which I think is frustrating for any player. Um, but there's been good bits as well, and things I can take take into next season and hopefully hopefully build on. Um, I've learned a lot. Obviously, it's my first season in the football league, and I think there's more to come. So hopefully, uh, it's just about getting that out of myself. Um, or something like I don't think you started more than five games in a row at any stage. So does that make it slightly difficult to kind of develop a, a pattern and a feel for playing 90 minutes at this level? Doesn't help. I mean, I would like to say it's ideal, but we've got a we've got a squad of players we all want to play every week, and it's part of modern football. You know, you don't get many players that play throughout the whole season, every game, every minute. So, um, I think when I was out the side, it was important that I stayed switched on and trained hard. And you know, in, in the situation we we're in, we need players pulling in the right direction. So, it'd be wrong for a player to be out the side and, and not backing the lads fully. So. I think in, and in or out the side, you need to make a contribution to the group of players in the changing room. I feel like I've done that. Um, but yeah, it'd be, it'd be lovely to play every game. Hopefully, uh, and I can get a good run for the end of the season now. I suppose that was the, the thing kind of Luke highlighted about Connor Thomas last week. Even when he's not been in the side, he's, yeah. he's kind of delivered in terms of, of being professional in that approach. Yeah, it's a massive part of the game that people you know, wouldn't see on a day to day basis. You know, we come in and we work every day together. Um, and it, it's not just the 90 minutes on a Saturday. You know, there's a whole, there's a whole group of men here that, that want to do well, and they need to do want to do well for each other as well as themselves. So, yeah, we've got a, we've got a good group, and um, there's a lot of good good pro, pros and good players in there, um, and we need to be all pulling in the same direction to the end of the season. And just touching on the the goal scoring, obviously it's going to be difficult to, to match what you did in the conference with the amount of game time you've had. But do you feel it's a lack of opportunities, or you could have been more clinical, or, yeah. or where does that lie? Yeah, I think I think I'd I'd look at my clips and I've had chances this year. I could have got a lot more goals. Um, of course, I've not played the same amount of minutes, but I 
put in, I've put in areas which have been threatening and they've, they've had opportunities. Um, and obviously, you know, it would have been lovely to score a few more, but I'm not sure the stats, there's been some assists in there. And, um, you know, like I said, overall there's positives, but there's, there's definitely things I look to uh, improve on for next season. Is the, the standard of goalkeeping, is that notable jump from the, the conference or not especially? I wouldn't say the standard of goalkeeping. I think you notice that the teams are generally a little bit more organised and a bit more detail goes into the, the preparation of the defensive and the tactics. Um, but I wouldn't say it, I'll specifically say the goalkeeping. I think the games are just generally tighter. Um, and uh, yeah, that's the main transition. Obviously, a lot of the teams in the conference are part time, so that plays a major role in, in the amount of time that they have to to prepare for games, um, whereas League One's a different kettle of fish and it's up to uh, us as players to try and unlock the door. And what's the, the challenge been like in terms of the sort of physical side of the game and, and athleticism and, and fitness? Well, I'm a fit lad, I think most stats, the nature of the position I play, I do the most running and, and things like that, so fitness hasn't been a problem. Um, I'm not a big strapping centre half, so you know, physicality is something I always need to work on, but um, I feel like I've adapted well and like I said, hopefully I can. Uh, improve next season. And how balanced are you with that situation? You know, obviously there's a bit of euphoria and winning in the last minute, but I guess you're conscious that there's very little margin for us so. Yeah, it wasn't much euphoria. The boys are well aware of the situation we're in. Um, and it, like I said, we haven't, we haven't achieved anything with one win. We've uh, given ourselves a glimmer of hope and the boys are clinging to that and rightly so. You know, it was a massive result for us and a, and a, and a great result. Um, important three points, but um, we know that there's a some vital games coming up and we need to do just as well if not better in, in the fifth place in. And how important is it perhaps to get at least something, I guess there's a scenario where you draw and you, you can cut the gap to three points and, it, and it's one win and that puts a, a different level of pressure on sides of lovely. Yeah, I think we need to get something but we need wins. Um, three points are massive at the minute and um, it's gonna, there's going to be twists and turns till the end of the season. I mean, if, if we win, lose or draw on Saturday, it won't be the end of it. You know, There'll be more twists and turns for the run-in there'll be other teams above us looking over their shoulders and we'll keep going no matter what the results are. Hopefully it's a positive one. Um, and like I said, we're, we're confident we can get something up there because we've, got, we've got, got a bit of a belief into the squad now and you know, we, we think we can cause them problems. Thanks good luck. Thanks very much.